in the coming lectures of this course we are going to learn about different types of operators in javascript now before we learn about different types of operators first let's try to understand what is an operator and what is an operand and how operators are classified so basically an operator performs some operation on a single or multiple operand and it produces a result so let's first understand few terminologies before moving further so we have an operand an operand is what operators are applied to for example when we try to add 2 and 5 this plus it is an operator and this operator is operating on two operands we have the left operand which is 2 and we have the right operand which is 5 so an operand is something on which an operator operates okay now we can classify operators into three types unary operator binary operator and ternary operator an operator is called as unary operator if it is applied on a single operand and we will see this with an example then the operator is called as binary operator if it operates on two operands here in this example this plus operator it is operating on two operands 2 and 5 so in this case this plus operator is the binary operator and we also have ternary operator so when an operator operates on three operands then that operator is called as ternary operator now let's try to understand these terms with practical example so let's go ahead and let's create a variable let's call it x and to this let's assign a value 5 now let's say x equals minus x and let's go ahead and let's log the value of x now so if i save the changes you will see that minus 5 has been logged so here we are creating a variable x and to that we have assigned this 5 and then what we are doing is on that variable we are using this minus operator now currently this minus operator is operating on single operand right here we have a single operand so here this minus operator it is acting like a unary operator because it is being applied on a single operand but we can also use minus operator as a binary operator so for example i can say a equals 20 minus 5 so now this minus operator it is operating on two operands 20 and 5 so in this case this minus operator it is a binary operator so there are some operators which can act as a both unary and binary operator here in this case this minus is an example of that kind of operator which can act as both unary and binary operator but there are some operator which can only act as a binary operator for example multiplication operator so let me create a variable let's say b equals 30 multiplied by so here this multiplication operator it is a binary operator it can only be applied on two operands you cannot use it on a single operand if i say asterisk 20 this does not mean any sense here right so here you see we also have an error so this multiplication operator it can only be applied on two operands so this multiplication operator it is a binary operator but this minus operator it can be applied on single operand as well as we can also use it with two operands so it can act as both unary operator and binary operator but this multiplication it is always going to be a binary operator you cannot use it on a single operand then we also have ternary operator and a ternary operator operates on three operands and we will talk about ternary operator in the future lectures of this course so i hope now you have an idea of what is an operator what is an operand and what is a unary operator binary operator and ternary operator in javascript we have different types of operators like arithmetic operator assignment operator comparison operator logical operator etc and we are going to talk about these operators in our coming lectures and understanding these operators is very important because remember that javascript is a programming language which is very different from other programming languages 
in javascript you will learn some concepts which is not available in other programming languages and this makes javascript a little bit different from other programming languages so if you think you already know arithmetic operator assignment operator logical operator etc from any other programming languages then let me tell you that these operators might work differently in javascript than the programming language which you have knowledge of so i'm going to cover these operators in great detail in our coming lectures and you will also learn many interview questions in these lectures so without any further ado let's move to the next lecture and let's talk about arithmetic operators